Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Welcome to one of our vlogs from St. Mark's Episcopal in Dalton, Georgia. And welcome to those on YouTube and Facebook who join with us. And we're glad to have everyone today, including our church members. Um, the, uh, the introduction was from a uh, very well-known uh, piece of literature. It's from Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from the Birmingham City Jail. It was composed 60 years ago last uh, week. Um, now this epistle, I hope that you've heard of it, and I hope that you have read it, uh, was transcribed in the margins of a newspaper and also on paper smuggled into the jail where King and many others were being held uh, for violating a court order not to demonstrate against segregation that was very much the um, uh, so dominant in Birmingham and the entire Southern culture. In the past 60 years, this letter has become a classic. It uh, read widely as an example of Christian response to injustice. It is um, uh, King citing biblical passages as well as quoting theologians such as St. Uh, Augustine, uh, Thomas Aquinas, Martin Buber, and Paul Tillich. King laid down the moral Christian foundation uh, for the demonstrations and justification for the civil disobedience that his, uh, he and the others were using. Uh, now, while be a proper lesson today for me to concentrate on King's letter, I want to for us to consider uh, how this letter was actually a response to a letter entitled "A Call for Unity." Ironically, it was printed on Good Friday uh, of that year in Birmingham, and signed by eight white religious leaders representing the Catholic, Jewish, Methodist, Presbyterian, Baptist, and yes, the Episcopal Church, um, Episcopal faith. Uh, the letter for unity was urged demonstrators to stop the protest and to wait for the court systems and local negotiations to remedy the segregation that was that was so ingrained in law and culture, you know, and um, um, you know, in practice during that time. So is now also about that letter is with sadness that I must report that two of the signers of the uh, letter were uh, C. C. J. Carpenter the Episcopal Bishop of um, the Diocese of Alabama, and also George Murray, who was his bishop's suffragan, um, suffragan who uh, later became bishop of the new diocese of South Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. Uh, bishop Carpenter also presided over a special chapel service at the University of the South in Suwannee, Tennessee. Uh, at this, uh, this uh, chapel service, they... Um, uh, uh, consecrated uh, a ceremonial mace inscribed with the Confederate flag in memory of Nathaniel Bedford Forrest, the first Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. Now, as an Episcopalian, I wish this was not part of our history. I'd rather talk about the experience of uh, Jonathan Daniels, who was a 26-year-old white uh, Episcopal a uh, seminarian who was martyred in Hainville, Alabama in 1965 when he shielded a 17-year-old African-American girl from being shot uh, by a shotgun blast by uh, an off-duty uh, deputy uh, for trying to enter a, and uh, desegregate a, a store at the time. Um, it, now, but the reality of life is that there are actions of which we must honor but also there are actions which we wish had never happened, that were uh, not, uh, which were not part of our history. I do not intend to judge Bishops Carpenter and Murray uh, because of my own many sins, I have no right to judge others. But I do want to remind us of the lessons of Easter, that God can rewrite our story, that God can uh, transform people. The Bible teaches us that God has used uh, sinful people for his own purposes. God used um, um, God used Moses, God used David, God used Paul, all of whom had many sins in order to do uh, his, uh, his work. God uses sinful people to do good. The biggest of uh, the Bible teaches us uh, that it does so, so, but now all of us in our personal lives, uh, also uh, in our corporate history, have many actions for which we should be ashamed. But the, uh, part of the good news of Easter is that God uses sinful people. God uses people just like us to do his purpose and to do good. Although we have, may have sinful past, uh, God can rewrite our story. And for this, this Easter, we can say, thanks be to God. Hallelujah.